Hello guys, how are you today? Welcome to another episode of Let's Mod Minecraft and uh, today I will be showing you something I've been working on for quite a long time um, and that's my biome. Um, there is a lot of things to know about biomes but right now it's here, I have not named it yet but it's in the list so you can pick it up bam, and then you can say great here we go, this will uh, make my uh, biome uh, and it's like an ocean biome and you will see it shortly. I will probably skip over this. Um, as you can see here, when it's done loading, obviously, very good. Okay, so welcome to the sea. I will show you with a boat. We pick the ranch one. There we go. So, as you can see here, this is my ocean biome. I have uh, made it by some prefixes, so like so when I felt like it was nice. Also, I have made uh, that my animals can spawn in this biome. Right now, they are all aiming to get above uh, to water, so they don't uh, about above the water, so they don't drown. So that's how they work. As you can see, uh, the ammonites can spawn between two and five. Uh, animals at once. I think here there's a lot of spawns. Um, I also added a lot of other animals right now to the biome just because I feel like it's a uh, need to have some sea life in this uh, biome here. Uh, and now I'm just looking for the spawn rate of a uh, Dunkleosteus because this one has to be rare because it's very dangerous so it should be like something you really notice when it's there and it should look at you and slowly go and get you but only occasionally when it feels like it so <coughs> as you can see the water color of this uh, biome is a little different from the normal one i'm considering whether or not i should change that a little but as you can see here there's a lot of uh, seagrass and stuff going on um, i have some different uh, biome <coughs> biome uh, prefixes in this that should uh, make it more interesting to dive around in here uh, let's see if we can find there yeah, some nice stuff going on here I have made so that this biome will have a lot of caves my idea with that is that sometimes these caves might be able to save you from big animals it's a little easier this way but uh, as you can see we have the ocean here it has a lot of details, there's some dolphins. Um, I'm actually gonna probably, my Ichirosaurus is gonna have some of this uh, behavior this dolphin has. Like jumping over the water, maybe follow your boat. Um, this is actually the way I've made this ocean so far. There's a lot of uh, green stuff, there's a fish. And I'm imagining uh, the Dunkleosteus would sometimes uh, kill these fish when it sees it. To like make a feeling of a real environment behavior for the animals. Um, so that was actually a pretty big deal to make this biome. Especially because I was uh, working with uh, Forge. And the version of Forge I was using had apparently a bug that made it impossible to spawn the environment in the open world. Ah, this is a good version of some of the details I've made for it. So you can like have these caves and stuff going on in this water biome here. Uh, and actually I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think uh, when my animals are getting down it will be very lively to look at. But right now they're at the top. So that's some of the next stuff I'm gonna work with. Uh, so yeah. The only thing is the color here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I really like to swim in this color, but it's just when you merge it with the other world, it's a little... It can look a little silly. It goes from blue to this color here. But again, I don't know. We'll figure out. I will try to show you uh, my biome spawning in, in the open world now. So we we'll make a new one. And then we we'll just make a b normal world here. We'll wait a little. So now we're here. 
Um, okay, we spawned in uh, this area here. <laughs> see, you can see uh, that's one of my turtles spawning, and that's the only animal that spawns around the world. They, c they can only be spawning one. Actually, they're pretty rare for them to spawn here, but they do. And that can sometimes be because there's no other animals around, so it will spawn more often that way, but usually it's not a problem. But let's now uh, try to see if we can locate my biome. So we go here, it's right there. And then we say... That's six. And as you can see here, that's my biome um, spawning, and that's what I'm talking about. It's a little... the merge to the real world is spoiled a little by this color. Um, so maybe I will turn it a little more blue and just make it when you go down here, it will be a little more like that. Oh, there's the Dunkleosteos also, but as you can see, the biome is actually quite big when it spawns. And in the future, I will probably be making like a beach for this biome and a land area for this biome in order to like make islands. But as you can see here, when it gets along with other areas, it's a little silly. <sighs> I'm not sure if I will be releasing this. Maybe it will annoy people that it does this, like this behavior but maybe I could just fix it by changing the water to a little more blue color it's a little chill right now but you can see here the big difference um, but what I can I am planning of uh, maybe making a dimension uh, for the biome spawning here so I will not be doing that this time S but I did pull it off so it did work uh, it is working uh, there's some very weird spawn behavior when it comes to animals uh, because I want to make these uh, animals able to breed. So if I want to feed this one some food, it should be able to breed with the other one. And that uh, that's conflicting a lot with the spawning situation. But I did find a way to spawn my animals and they should despawn also if you go away from them. So there's a lot of things behind the the curtain also that is important to know that's going on here. But this is uh, what I did make and uh, I am proud of it, to be honest. It's nice that I managed to pull it off because I had a hard time doing it. It took quite some time also. I just spent one month finding out that I was not able to do it in the version of Forge I was using. I had to remake the mod in another Forge version. Um, but I think I will change the color. Uh, and I know it looks a little silly now with all the animals on top, but I think it will really be great when uh, when all the animals are swimming around down here. It will be very nice to look at. Uh, seeing all these creatures all around the place. Some are dangerous, some are not. I'm imagining the Ejiasaurus here. It will be jumping around like a dolphin. And that could be very nice to like see it follow your boat and all that stuff. So some of these tasks I might probably borrow from Minecraft itself because I actually think they did a very good job on that. But I would prefer that it's only sometimes they want to do it. Uh, if you're swimming around the boat, the dolphins will follow you. Uh, also, yeah, this uh, animal here, it will be familiar to the squid the behavior it moves it suits it perfectly that it's like a squid the way it moves around and then this one it needs some new animations the Dunkleosteus uh, I also need to make like uh, animations when it attacks somebody so where it opens its mouth it will be stunning you for like one second where you can only move around the screen like this but you cannot move anywhere and then I will one-shot you if it gets so close, then it's your mistake. But it's only occasionally. Sometimes you ca should be able to uh, dive around it without it bothering you. But sometimes if you see it looks very tensely on you, then it probably means it's gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and then you need the diving suit to uh, escape it because it will be faster than your normal swimming speed and uh, if you don't have the diving suit on you'll be too slow so it will slowly catch you very slowly catch you so if you're like stuck out here and you're like oh where's land go there you'll be able to slowly see this animal getting closer closer so that's what I got for this time fellas I hope you enjoyed it uh, I enjoyed making this mod and I'm happy that you supported this much already um, totally unexpected for me that you would like it this much so thank you very much uh, have a nice day thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe have a nice day